few months after the march she'd helped organize, Grace and others were excluded from a civil rights conference to be held in Detroit. So we organized our own conference and called it the Grassroots Leadership Conference. And Jimmy was chair of the conference. I was the secretary. This is a picture of Jimmy talking to one of the workshops at the conference. This is me. Brother Jim Bob's not at the floor. How many Negroes do we want to give up to please the white man? Negroes are being killed every day. How many more? This is part of James Boggs' FBI file. It was very exciting to get the file. As a historian and as a political person who's interested in their work, I, I knew that, I hoped that this would have some new information, which it did. Is this all of it? This is about a third of it. A third, oh, okay. Yeah. They have been killing and killing and killing and killing. And nobody says nothing about revenge. So in the grassroots leadership speech, it sounds like James is calling for violence. You know, when I asked Grace about it, she never gives me a straight answer, and I don't know why. Straight answer about how about, she felt about it? Yeah. I think that James violence was already happening and that violence was inevitable. In fact, it was at the Grassroots Leadership Conference where Malcolm X delivered one of his most famous speeches, the message to the grassroots. Can we play the record? Would you like to play it? Yes. Yeah. We want to have just an off-the-cuff chat between you and me, us, concerning the difference between the Black Revolution and the Negro Revolution. The revolution is in Africa. The revolution is in Asia. We're going to continue in Latin America. Only kind of revolution is non-violent. It's the Negro Revolution. For Grace, they've been thinking about revolution for a decade and a half. So now they're seeing in this particular radical and militant stream of black protests a new way to think about and envision and enact the American Revolution. Inspired by the Grassroots Leadership Conference, Grace helped launch a new all-black political party. So when Grace helps to build this Freedom Now party, she's the only non-black person in this self-consciously all-black political organization, whose goal is not to achieve integration, but to try to realize some power, political power for African Americans. <laughs>